We have our next dump and go recipe. I have my ninja turn to slow cooker function and we're just going to cook this all day long. And this is a super dump and go recipe. So we need one pound of pork shoulder pieces that we have just cubed up. This is some out of my freezer. Next up I have one medium onion that I have just chopped into some huge slices because it will break down and we don't need them super fine like we usually would. And then one can of hominy. I'm using a large can because we really like the hominy. I did drain it. One can of petite diced tomatoes with the juices. One can of chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. Now this will give you quite a kick to this dish. So if you don't like um, spice, this might not be the dish for you. Or switch it to two cans of diced tomatoes. You won't get the depth or richness of this, but you'll still get a decent dish. And then just one can of just Chipotle sauce. You can switch this for a can of tomato sauce. Again, you won't get that smoky richness, but it'll cut out the spice. We love the spice. This is one of Thatcher's favorite dishes when it's cool. Next up, I need five teaspoons of chicken bouillon powder and five cups of water. You can also, in place of the bouillon powder and water, just use five cups of chicken broth. I need about a teaspoon of cumin and about a tablespoon of chili powder. I need one tablespoon of minced garlic, about a teaspoon of salt, and about half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm just going to give that a little mix. And there we go. We're gonna cook this low and slow all day, but you want to go until that pork is nice and tender. If you don't eat pork, you can easily switch this to chicken. Um, we usually prefer to do a chicken um, verde pozole, but we've had chicken in this also, and it's still super delicious. It's really the seasonings and the broth that's giving it all the flavor. You wanna go about eight to 10 hours on low. So we'll see y'all back tonight and we'll show y'all all of our favorite toppings that really take this over the top. All right, y'all, so our pasole is all done. I've made up a bowl right here and all of our toppings and everything to go in it. So I'm gonna show y'all how we top it and everybody likes theirs with a little bit different uh, ingredients. And you can see I just did a little bit of jalapeno because it is quite spicy tonight. Um, I mean, it's just the luck of the draw. Sometimes you get more spicy with the peppers than you do other times, but I still like that little bit of a sour note and extra spice. So this is the pasole. Got a few chunks of meat in it, the hominy, and you can use white or uh, yellow hominy, whichever you like. Little bits of onion, tomatoes. You could also add raw onion to uh, the top of this. We don't like raw onion. It's just not something we like. So I'm adding in some sliced cabbage, a few slices of radish for that peppery bite, a big ol' hunk of queso. We love queso. This helps really balance the heat and gives us some of that mild creaminess and we just love getting a big old hunk. Okay, so a bunch of cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you can leave that out. I used to hate cilantro and now I love it. But I forced myself to keep trying it and incorporate it in because I knew that I had that soapy, like iron kind of taste. And then 
we have to have our avocado. Now this is Thatcher's bowl, so I'm going to give him some extra avocado because he always wants extra. And then you just take some, um, some tortilla chips or some tostada, whatever you like, and I just tuck them down in the side, and the kids will break these and scoop up some of their soup and crumble them over the top. And there you have it. I know you can't really see your radishes and stuff at this point, but that is dinner, our pozole. Yummy.